There is life in these woods. These are mostly women. We have a little Hispanic community over there. And a garden. We, we have tomatoes. We do. We have yeah. tomatoes. For the community. Well, that's that. Scattered among the evergreens sit 18 tents purchased by the community action group Rest and Strong. We have another volunteer. She has a track of who's in what tent. Rest and Strong has promoted this kind of idea of everybody does have dignity. Joan McDonald and her Don't friend worry. Tig. Those boxes will just break. That's okay. We'll get it into the trailer and get it there. Have been living in the tents since the county's COVID protections and hypothermia shelter ended in April. Having a full-time job in Fairfax County at the rate I'm getting, it is frustrating to see that I really can't afford a you know, like an apartment on my own in this area. I, I could rent a room, but I can't <laughs> rent an apartment because they're going to check my credit and say, hey, uh, maybe that's not so shiny. Like many of the working homeless here, Joan has a job as a bus driver for Fairfax County Connector. When it rains like this, all the tents get flooded. Estela Ganze is a former refugee from the Congo. The 31-year-old mother of three was forced to drop out of college and became estranged from family. While her children stay with a relative, she lives in her car. I want them to, to know that God is taking care of mommy. The folks from Rest and Strong, what do they mean to you? They give us hope. Uh, at least we know that somebody cares. During the height of the pandemic, the county housed 700 people in hotels. Sarah Silvarage D'Souza and her team at Rest and Strong stepped in when that program ended, and about 300 people were left with no place to go. So they set up tents right outside the county supervisor's office, and after 100 days, placed black flags outside the building and black wreaths at their doorsteps. It was harsh for us to put those black wreaths outside their office, but the reminder is, are we waiting for a fatality? Ending homelessness here in Reston and throughout Fairfax County means addressing systemic racism that has led to a disproportionate amount of African Americans on the streets. According to the Office to Prevent and End Homelessness, blacks make up 10% of the county's total population, but about 50% of the unhoused. Dealing with a legacy as well as current racism, discrimination, especially around jobs and housing. Tom Barnett is the deputy director of the county's office to prevent and end homelessness. The board directed us to talk to zoning and other land use um, experts and figure out what's possible both in commercial and industrial spaces for shelter and even supportive housing. According to January's point in time count, close to 1,200 people experience chronic homelessness in Fairfax County. The deputy director says since many more people move in and out of homelessness, beds at the county's shelters are always turning over. Embry Rucker, Reston's only emergency shelter, has 70 beds. 328 people are on that waiting list. 195 of them are currently on the street. When Reston Strong says you're not doing enough, how do you respond? I see it as a community response. Uh, the county government is playing an important role and organizations like Reston Strong are also playing an important role. They've done great things serving the people who are unsheltered in these tents. And I believe we can work together both on immediate needs and long-term goals. So the work continues in the county offices. If they're not housed by winter, then the hope is to like put a fire ring out. And in the community. Okay. Building, building that community. Hoping to come in. I would like to get an over the road trucking job. From the outside. When the makeup comes off yes. and you're going into your car for the night and locking the door. Mm -hmm. What's your prayer? What do you say? Lord, I'm relying on you. I need your help. In Reston, Delia Gonsalves, W, USA 9. So many of our neighbors are struggling right now. Rest and Strong is an all-volunteer organization. It supports many people experiencing homelessness with donations. If you'd like to help, check out our WUSA 9 mobile app or our website, WUSA9.com.